Hello everyone, welcome to Sutter Brand and this is the time to uh, welcome our guest uh, who is uh, from Sweden, our very wonderful personality and uh, he is Michael Sillion but he is so much famous on social media, uh, Captain Future. So please welcome Captain Future. <laughs> How I have to speak your name, Michael Sillion or Captain Future? What you would like? Both. I like both. So you like both. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everyone likes their own name. Hmm. So Michael Sillion, yeah. uh, it's a great honor for yeah. us to yeah. hosting you in Startup Grind. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you <laughs> for being here, talking about it. Yes. Uh, so, uh, as you know, Startup Grind is a global community, mm. and uh, yeah. Thus, this platform is trying to connect successful personalities and the new business idea persons who call startups and uh, the businessmen, the investors, and th they are trying to connect a very wonderful ecosystem. Mm. Uh, so, uh, you are from Europe, you mm. are from Sweden, mm. uh, so uh, we would like to uh, listen the story of your own life, how you started. And how you become successful? How I became uh, Captain Future. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so the long story, the short story. Uh, as as you would like to share. As I would like to share it. Yeah. My star story started uh, many years ago, but it's been a um, journey. Like let's say the last twenty five years since I found internet and I found the first social media in 1995 and I uh, discovered a movie called Ghost in the Shell that made me think a lot about philosophy and humanity and identity and it continued until The Matrix came out in 1999 and it blew my mind away and it made me uh, make this hairstyle that is my residual self-image and that is my choice so I project myself in the world so I can actually choose who I am, what I do and how I look and who I hang out with and where I go and what I work with and, and everything. Everything is a choice. Most people aren't aware of this and it's very hard because most choices are hard and go against your friends, your family, your group. So you can't make like uh, every uh, choice willy-nilly but uh, you certainly can lay, make a lot more choices. Uh, and for me some people say that the old definition of free will doesn't exist, but I think there is a more modern definition of consciousness and free will that definitely exists for, because we can make choices. And that's what I have been doing. And uh, in 2012, approximately, I quit my job to, to go find and see how, how can I change the world? <laughs> like the cliche, find my passion, change the world, because I have just started reading books and YouTube lectures and podcasts about this subject uh, and then I found Bert Ola and other inspiring people in Sweden and I hang out in a lot of events and started doing practicing, uh, doing internship and uh, practice, practice on different arenas. I went to an incubator to work there a while, I went as a social media uh, strategist and worked for that as a while, I went to a makerspace, uh, I went to I created my own make a space. Uh, I ran an esports and g board gaming cafe. So I've done a lot of different things to explore what I call the human endeavor. And about four years ago, uh, a couple of friends of mine, uh, we did a workshop together where, uh, where uh, I asked the question, Who am I and who should I be? And a friend of mine said, You should be Captain Future. And I just, and just clicked instantly. Yeah. yeah, this is the title and the identity I've been searching for. And who is Captain Future then? That, that has been a four-year journey since then to explore that even further because it's, an, it's both like a choice, who do I want to be, but also like who can I be and what is the need for the world. I got the title uh, because I talked a lot about my friends uh, of um, a quote from Buckminster Fuller. He wrote a book 50 years ago that's, uh, that's called Operating Manual for Spaceship Earth. And in that he says, we are the crew members of Spaceship Earth. And I asked my, maybe I, I talked to this with my friend, maybe I'm a crew member. And that's how I came up with it. Yeah, you could be the captain, the captain of the future or Captain Future. 
uh, because you always talk about the future. So in that I choose to become who I am. I already had a hairstyle, some of the clothes, but I, then I came out into full bloom to say like, yeah, I really, really um, uh, say clicked with myself and started like uh, I could do more public speaking around this subject and everything. So. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Captain Future, mm -hmm. uh, keeping in view uh, the most amazing stories like Star Trek mm -hmm. and uh, other movies, uh, and there's also some robot movies. So, why only this character, not other characters you like? And uh, you For me, yeah, certainly there, uh, there's a lot of mix. Uh, an entanglement of me, who I am and stuff. I'm not the only one person. I'm also a father, a friend, uh, an IT guy, a gamer, a geek, a movie buff. I, I, I'm a dancer and a raver. I can dance all night at clubs. I like uh, house music, synth music, uh, goth rock and, and all kinds of uh, <laughs> uh, alternative music, let's say. <laughs> So I'm a different, I'm a mix of all these identities, but I, I can choose who I am at any given moment, depending on the context that I'm in. But uh, when I travel to events like this, that where we talk about entrepreneurship, innovation, the future, SDGs and everything, then I'm, I'm fully Captain Future. Mm, good. Uh, so uh, Captain Future should be in the movies or other things. But why this Captain Future is uh, uh, showing some uh, IT conferences, he's attending, uh, he's going around many countries, mm. many cities, mm. and uh, why are you uh, traveling the world and why are you going in IT conferences, why? Uh, because I, f I feel like it, I am from, I'm, a, I'm an engineer, I have done computer programming for 12 years, I'm, uh, coded databases, web websites and everything. So I love I know a lot about tech, but it's not my uh, passion anymore because I don't find the passion of coding directly anymore. So I haven't done it for 12 years, but I know a lot about tech, computers, science, and I, I read constantly uh, about everything. I'm very curious. That's my superpower, being curious. <laughs> Ooh, so, uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, through Batola, of course, he he went to a lot of events and I went to a lot of events in Sweden before that, but he took me to Norway, he took me to San Francisco and connected me to, to a, a whole new level of a world stage. I've been mostly in Sweden before uh, 2016 when I went the first time to San Francisco and that blew my mind away because, uh, let's say, Captain Future is a title that doesn't uh, um, resonate with a lot of Swedes because they're very timid and shy and, uh, uh, and w don't want to stand out. But when, when I came to San Francisco, everyone high-fived me and hugged me and I became captain, captain, everyone called me and suddenly, okay, I get it now. This, I'm, uh, I'm not for Sweden, I'm from somewhere else. And then I had to travel, of course, with Bertola where people actually appreciate uh, me and Bertola for what we're trying to do, like changing the world from an edge perspective. Oh, great. Mm. Uh, as you traveling the world and uh, you mm. have you know, very good experience, so uh, you also visited Pakistan and you mm. uh, visited many conferences of Pakistan. So what kind of gap you have seen uh, from other countries' conferences and uh, Pakistan conferences? Yeah, um, I've been to a couple of conferences um, here on my first trip in Pakistan. Like you see, there's a lot of energy and curiosity here, but still, uh, um, event design, like this, is a skill in itself. It's not <laughs> nowhere near perfected here. If you have ever can be perfect, but uh, there's a lot of room for improvement. Because I uh, I go to some conferences even in Sweden that are extremely boring, and I c when I talk to the people organizing the event, they are not even interested in improving. They think yeah, it should be boring and, and add new value, no no value. So we go to a lot what we call looking looking whole conference. You sit in the dark audience, there's a keynote speaker, inspirational speaker on stage, people sit there like zombies that don't even take notes and they go out for some coffee and then they go home, there's no mingling, there's no workshops, there's no interaction between the people. And this is a horrible waste of time and talents because there's many smart people in the audience and they should working together, uh, networking, solve problems, come up with questions and everything. But in a good conference, this is like high level stuff and that, that's what we want to aspire to. And that's certainly something you can aspire to while, uh, by designing better events here. You can get facili train facilitators in holding 
space for workshops, world cafes, world shift uh, exercises and everything. So when you get, to, when you get experience and visit other places, when you learn all of these skills, you can take this to the next level because there's a hunger and curiosity and energy for improving and becoming more here in Pakistan. Mm -hmm. so. Good. Uh, so uh, what do you think if you have a chance to work with Pakistan or you are starting, uh, uh, mm -hmm. you want to start any kind of your company in Pakistan or what the things you think that here Pakistan can help me and Pakistani uh, youth can help you and Pakistani uh, uh, what kind of Pakistani talent you think that can collaborate with you? Collaborate with me? Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, if we, we are on the verge of uh, exhausting many of our resources here. We are fishing the seas, we are polluting plastic and uh, lots of toxins, pesticides and there's uh, many problems in the world. And in a world like Pakistan, where you are on the verge to becoming a new nation and moving into a, a more knowledge economy and IT economy and everything, you have the opportunity to make this a very sustainable trip if you choose to. You don't have to, you can go the old way of the 19th century, but you can choose also to go to the 21st century into a sustainable tomorrow. It's all a chance and in that I think um, yeah, Pakistan can help me. Uh, to do feedback loop and experiments around this. We, I talked to a guy today that uh, we need to create more like sandbox spaces and pro prototype space and experiment zones where you're allowed to test new business ideas, new way of doing things without where you downgrade reg regulation and laws under certain supervision, of course. So you can experiment in new ways of, what do I say, doing society together. Mm, so that's a possibility and I would like to be part of a process like that here in Pakistan or other places in the world. So. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it's really amazing that mm -hmm. uh, you are here with us. So it's the time for the special message, mm -hmm. a message from your inside, from your soul mm -hmm. to the world. <laughs> to the world. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, 13 billion years ago, the universe was created and it was mostly uh, uh, hydrogen atoms and then come uh, helium at, uh, atoms and then they started to form more complex atoms as, as they were melted and exploded into supernovas and we know that we have been in, in at least two supernovas maybe four or five supernovas all the atoms in our body all the atoms of earth has been inside at least two supernovas exploding stars and, and if you get that perspective it's very hard because it's um, you can't really phantom it but uh, this this is the story behind that we are all stardust we are all star stuff we are we are being inside an exploding star and when you think of that anything is possible mm. wonderful so as you are captain future mm -hmm. every one of us want to go with you on the space so how can we just like uh, closing the eyes mm -hmm. with a big breath what kind of style you have to tell that we I'll want to go in space with you. How? Go into space with me? Yeah, and, um, become curious and seek wisdom. That's like curiosity, wisdom, love, compassion, and what I call silliness that you would call playfulness. Like uh, when you're silly and playful, you're, it's very hard to be mad and angry at someone. And curiosity is definitely what we need and what you have a lot of here. We have to explore ourselves, the world around us, the earth, the universe, science is a big, big part with it, but also wisdom seeking is another part, the things that are, uh, let, let me say, a level above science. Hmm. Now, so join me in seeking this wisdom, curiosity, love and playfulness. Good. Now, uh, your f uh, famous style which you mm. do like four fingers, mm. three fingers, what you do and uh, just with your body language, uh, not speaking, <laughs> how? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much thank and we, we would like to welcome you again and again in Pakistan. It's really <laughs> a blessing for us and mm. it's a proud, uh, on behalf of all Pakistan, mm. I'm so much thankful to you. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you guys. Bye bye.